You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay Back with another reaction, another review, another episode. Hey, Nukes Top 5. You up to bat. Bah. Bitch, I'm drowning up in it. Most of you niggas is lazy. Half of you niggas full gazy. Yeah, I be spitting that crack shit. Cause I was born in that. It's your boy Lay Back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we gotta do. You gotta hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Appreciate time, appreciate life in 2021. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos, man. We back with another Nukes Top 5. Before we get into this, man, I need you to drop with you in the chat, man. Let me know that you with me, man. You know what I'm saying? Rocking with me, still rocking with me. But we back, man. We got a uh, real ghost caught on camera. Top 5 scary paranormal videos, man. Let's go ahead and get into it. Fire Squad. What's poppin'? Let's get it. Top five ghosts caught on camera. The ghost and the angry Aussie. Right in the corner of this thing, there was this weird shape, man. He said, that I'm in here. Western Australian homeowner Kevin Vidal is far from your typical ghost hunter. In fact, Kevin says that he's quite annoyed with the disruptive behavior of the shadow spirit that he says haunts his home. In this video Ooh. sent in to me on Facebook, we basically just see Kevin wandering from room to room of his home, cursing at the ghost, who he has nicknamed Little <laughs> We can also what? hear a few bizarre sounds that Kevin claims are EVPs. Where are you? But otherwise, the video is mostly uneventful, with just Kevin strolling through the home and making vague threats to the spirit. Right now, man, we're gonna bless this shit. Get the next boy from here. You don't belong here anymore. But Kevin says that when the video is watched back with a more critical eye, there are a couple of actual sightings of the strange shadow being that he says haunts his home. You making that beeping noise, huh? Talking? In this scene, Kevin says that you can actually see the shadow creature rising right up from the floor. Now, when I first saw this, my initial thought was that this just looks like a dog or a large cat walking towards the door. The clip is only half a second long, so it's kind of hard to tell. Right. But this next clip is a little harder to explain. The fuck? As Kevin rounds a corner, we can quickly see some large dark shape darting back and forth in the entryway near his front door. Whatever this is, moves at a superhuman speed in the few frames that it's visible. Right. And it can't simply be explained away by any in-camera glitch that I know of. Kevin Vidal only ever posted this one single YouTube video to his channel. Then, he pretty much disappeared from YouTube. One can only hope that that house blessing that Kevin kept threatening the ghost with actually worked. The Lady in White Now if there's one thing we learned in last week's video, it's that driving the back roads of India late at night can be a very frightening experience. Damn. Now this next video takes place on Chikmagalur Hill Road in India. Three men are driving in a car down a creepy winding back road when they see something very strange up ahead. I don't see that. Hey, 
A bizarre white figure seems to just be standing motionless by the roadside and doesn't move or even flinch as they pass dangerously close to her on the small road. What the fuck? Now, when I first saw this video, I thought that since this figure is so still, that maybe this was just a statue, or possibly even a mannequin of some kind set up to fool unsuspecting drivers. However, as the group travels further down the road, it becomes clear that the bizarre figure is certainly no statue or mannequin. <laughs> It jumped off the side of the... Men see the mysterious white figure again further down the road. By this time, they are convinced that this is a ghost hauling the country road, and they begin to panic. But as they approach, things get even creepier. The apparition simply steps over a hillside guardrail and disappears head first into the darkness below. What? At this point, the three men have had enough and simply speed away. According to reports, no one was found injured along this roadway the next day. So this was not a jumper. But just who or what was it? Is this a ghost haunting the remote back road? Or simply a hoax? You decide. Man, that's crazy. Creepy room in an abandoned house. On the YouTube channel VJAMA, host Alex Ray and his friend decide to do a typical YouTube 24-hour challenge by spending the night in a burnt-out, supposedly haunted house. That's typical? Local residents have reported strange noises coming from the residents at all hours of the night. Well, things don't go so great. Almost immediately, one of their cameras begins to malfunction mysteriously. Oh, my camera's f***ing up. No way. One sec. Alright, we're gonna put, we're gonna put. No, 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 my camera, guys, I don't know what happened. My camera just turned off by itself. You heard it get getting it. Huh? You heard it getting it. My camera died though. Yeah, but you have to come, we're gonna get in the first room and we're just gonna turn it off. At one point, Alex announces in an especially creepy little room that they will be filming there. If anyone's here. You wanna have a right? No, 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 no. If anyone's here. We just wanna film a video. And we'll be gone like as soon as possible, like in about 24 hours basically. He then proceeds to place candles in a circle all around the room. What? We'll be putting candles everywhere on this room so we have a lot of light. Maximum light means no spirits will come in. And you know, every single drop from the rain, it just comes down and hits on the floor and it just sounds like. Oh, sounds like a machine. Burn! Devil, be gone! Not long afterwards, Things start to get really bizarre around that strange little room. The area starts to become colder. Guys, I can't express to you how cold it is in here right now. I'm freezing. I thought this would be warm enough, but it's not. No, no, I heard something in there. As the hours wear on, Alex Ray's previously cheery, lighthearted attitude starts to fade. Yo, don't, no, 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 stop. No, stop, stop. We've been here for so long. I only got two bars left of battery, so 
I'm being really selective of what I'm filming. Oh, sake, man, it's freezing here. And after a few hours and a few more strange noises, this happens. What the f was that? That is. He's oh. shook. My God. He's shook. I think it's time to go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. He's shook. This isn't good. He is shook. No, no, no. Check, check, check. Pick what's there first. Go check it. No, no, man. What the f That wasn't you, yeah? He said go check. Huh? He that said, wasn't nah. you. I swear to God, this ain't right. We can't it's be in it. Complete, bro. Is it you? Just tell me right now. I'm being serious. That wasn't me. I, I had my. I'm holding the camera. Swear. I swear. Dead brother's grave. That was not you. I swear, my dead brother's grave. I, I swear, trust me. He Get said, quick. "Fuck that." <sighs> that wasn't me. I'm holding. I got two hands. Both young explorers hear movement coming from that same creepy little room. Some video commenters even claim to have seen movement in the shadows as the camera whips around toward that door. What the f was that? That <laughs> is. But of course, that could just be an optical illusion. Let me know what you think. Either way, both of the young YouTubers decide it's time to give up on their 24 hour challenge <laughs> and just get out quick. Absolutely. So was this a real paranormal encounter in a haunted building? Or were these guys just a little too jumpy over a creepy little room? You decide. The Anna Novelties Ghost. Oh no. So there's a shop called Anna's Novelties in Adrian, Michigan that has one very unwelcome customer. The owner and workers at the shop claim that Anna's is haunted by a poltergeist that routinely knocks things from the shelves. Angry? Are you mm -hmm. taping? Yes, I am. Bro, this sound he got playing is crazy, bro. It looks like someone threw it. Mm -hmm. Now, it's interesting to note that the products don't just drop off the racks as if they're not shelled properly, but actually fly off with some force. There was enough repeated supernatural activity in the store that the owner called in a local group of ghost hunters, the Spirit Presence Paranormal Team. The team actually manages to catch some more bizarre incidents during their short investigation. Computer comes on. Wow. Whoa. Falls. Peter goes off. So, what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on CCTV? Or just some bad product racks and a buggy computer? <laughs> Let me know what you think. Stacker. This next video is pretty much a classic internet poltergeist video. In fact, it's a clip I've never featured just because it's one of those videos that's a little too perfect if you know what I mean. But people keep sending it in to me and suggesting I put it in a top five. So here it is. And as always, I'll let you be the judge. Philip Shapiro believes that his house is haunted. So when he starts hearing strange noises coming from the basement, he pulls out his camera and goes to investigate. Hell no. Bro, that shit look creepy as fuck.
the fuck? We hear a strange noise that almost sounds like a growl coming from the basement. And then, within seconds, the chairs are stacked like a cheap set of Legos. So is this the poltergeist caught on camera, or just a well-crafted long-running hoax? You decide. Alright, that was Nuke's top 5 real ghosts caught on camera, top 5 paranormal videos. Now, I didn't even know this video was that Oh, I just picked a random one. But, um, it was some pieces in there that had me kind of creeped out a little bit, but for the most part, it wasn't too, too bad. And like I said in my last video, maybe I'm kind of building up some type of tolerance to this stuff. I don't know. Um, I, you know, I prefer that. I don't prefer to be in here freaking out and scared. So, you know what I mean? I know that's what y'all want to see, but I would prefer something light. I don't want nothing real heavy. You know what I'm saying? But you already know what you got to do, man. If you made it to the end, I need you to drop real one in the chat, man, in the comments, man. Drop real one. Thank you for rocking with me. But till next time, man, self-love and positivity, Fire Squad. I got you and you know it. Hey.